a strong believer in equal rights for everyone. Yeah. A very strong believer in that. I was wondering, though, with all the pressing, I pressing issues that you have before you right now, right. why is the issue of which bathroom a person uses such an issue? Well, I, you know what? It's, it's a great question. Uh, somehow people think I made it an issue. I didn't make it an issue. There, there are a lot of things that are more pressing. You're absolutely right. Uh, what happened and what continues to happen is you have transgender kids in schools and they get bullied and they get ostracized and it's tough for them <clears throat> and you know uh, we're of a generation where that stuff was all out of sight and out of mind and so pe people suffered silently but now they're out in the open and the question then is, schools are asking us, the Department of Education, for guidance. How should we deal with this? And my answer is that we should deal with this issue the same way we'd want it dealt with if it was our child. And that is to try to create an environment of some dignity and kindness for these kids. And, and, that, and that's sort of the bottom line. It, it, I have to just say what's in my heart, but I also have to look at uh, you know, what's the law. And my best interpretation of what our laws and our obligations are is that we should try to accommodate these kids so that they are not in a vulnerable situation. Now, I understand that people, you know, for religious beliefs or just general discomfort might disagree. And I'm not the one who's making a big issue of it. But if, if the school districts around the country ask me, what do you think we should do? Then what we're gonna do is tell them, let's find a way to accommodate them in a way that makes sure that uh, these kids are not, you know, excluded and ostracized. Let me and ask Mr.